What's good, yo? Welcome back to some more heavy rain, yo. Okay, so I've I've been thinking. I think I'm ready for a new intro. Kind of kind of tired of yelling every time the video start. <laughs> kind of tired of snapping my neck. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain, the weirdest game I've played on this channel to date. And it's weird, not because the story is weird. Yeah, the story's weird, but it's weird because I don't, still don't know how any of this connects. Still don't know what's going on. But we do know where we left off. Hopefully, hopefully you just watched this yesterday or the day before. Don't know when this is going up. But we are now back in the police station as detective. What is his name? I forgot his name. Let me try and remember his name before this start. Bruce? It's not Bruce. Uh, Banshee. Huh? What's your name? Shelby. Shelby? Names are important. They go a long way, especially when you're talking to young ladies, little, little, little young gentlemen out there. If you approach a lady, don't forget her name. That's, <laughs> that's one of the worst things you can do. Okay, hold on. What are you thinking though? You impatient with it? Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back some real work. Oh, I hate the voice acting. It hurts my ears. Sorry. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. What did that mean? I think Ari is glasses. Get your glasses. Okay, the animation was just across your legs. What? I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Captain Gee, Perry. I hate internal politics bullshit. So he just he, he just nonchalant. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. What is this animation? That's your Ari time? That's what he meant by Ari time. Artificial registration. I don't know what the Ari stands for actually. I got a new voice for y'all that I'm <laughs> I'm a sprinkle in throughout this channel. I mean this video. He over here playing VR. Just like I do. His VR way cooler though. Huh? Huh? Sh I'm shaking. Can you imagine something like this? Can you imagine watching somebody do this? I'd be like, see? <laughs> that be me! Hey, he black. All right, how much longer? Oh, wow. So I also don't know when my decisions start affecting the story. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Shoot, my mom called me, y'all. Trying to handle some business. Hey, can I see your phone, man? So I'm recording. Huh? I was recording. What's up? Come on, downstairs. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Okay, here I come. Bye. Bye. Really? Postponed. Okay, just had to go run a few errands that took a few hours with my loving mother. Hey, mom, love you. If you don't love your mother, give her back. Huh? Okay. Jaden, of course. We've been Jayden. expecting you. That's his name, Jaden. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always. Look at this dude eating himself. his little Krispy Kreme. Today, I can't even turn around. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, he yeah, the homie. This morning. He the homie. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm this sure is, he'll get him. Okay. Well together. This is all same day. Tie a knot in a necktie. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press. They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, <laughs> but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. 
work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. It's clean, don't worry. Not bad. You couldn't do better. What are you talking about, not bad? <laughs> you walking around with two oh, strings across your neck. Okay. She'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. All right, I need to focus. So what I'm trying to figure out is what Ethan, right, Jaden, and that other detective who put the works, he, he beat the brakes off that one dude. I just can't remember what the detective name is, but but, but he, he cool, the one with the hooker, right? The three of them. This dude with the hooker, right, is also trying to solve the same origami murder person that Jaden is. But Ethan is somehow connected to all of them. That's all that we know. We've played this for like two hours now, and that's all that we know. That's wild. But let's let, let's let's keep it going. So right now we're trying to find our desk. Let's talk to Charlene. Did you get Perry's assistant to show me my office? I can't wait to get to work. So this might be his first day on the job. Um, press conference. He did talk about a Captain press conference. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. So these are my options. Okay, see, this is what I'm trying to figure out. I think I need a good cup of Java. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? So these are all options that I can choose based on his thoughts, okay? Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. So I can either go find Charlene, find on my desk, talk to talk to Blake, or go look in at what's his name's press conference, or go get me some coffee. Um, yeah, I want to see what lies he's telling everybody in the media, low key. This is this is getting better. This is getting better. And I can take a seat. An figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the Origami Killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable. This is this is a waste of time. Mistaken, we'll be there to arrest him. This is like hearing yeah. the new, like real life news, just bullshit, lying to their people. Perhaps a ransom note. He don't know any more than I know. Where's Charlene's sexy ass at? <laughs> okay, so it's not even that I've gotten complaints. They're definitely not complaints, but they're, I've just gotten a little bit of critique about the way that I treat women on this channel, which is, you know, valid, valid comments. They say that, you know, Berlizzi might sexualize a little more than he needs. Well, you know what? Stop being sexy. <laughs> no, that's some creepy shit. I don't. I don't mean it like that. Just no. But at least you respect the women, okay? Oh, this might be Charlene right here. Collection for Larry's promotion present. Are you Charlene, Miss? Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past twenty years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Um, it's my first day here, but I'm gonna put it in. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Captain Perry. I'm trying to learn everybody's name. Charlene, you know? You've been around for a while, I'm new. Just know, if you want to show me around a little later tonight, 
I'll make time. <laughs> this... This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Charlene, bring that ass back. Don't disrespect me with this office. Why do they have real human pictures on that clipboard? So this is what this is what I chose to do instead of getting okay. coffee. Time to work. I chose to work. I chose to work. That's what it's about. You put in a time, you beat the crime. That's the voice I'm, I've been telling y'all about. Again, me and my friends, we just be doing stupid stuff, bro. What you about to do? Pilates? Yoga? You about to do a plank challenge? Oh, he about to lift his desk up. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh, he just, he just, okay. He getting set up, he getting set up. I'm tripping. All right, come on, Jaden. What you thinking? No thoughts. Take out your AR eyes. Why did I remember that? Step you one, change the office. This is so, this is so swag. Oh, space, clouds, water. Forest fall. I like that. I, I like that. I like that. Uh, the clouds. No, I kind of like the. No, I like the clouds. I like to stay in the clouds. If you know what I'm saying. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, if I had a pair of ARIs, I'm never leaving the house. What do I look like leaving the house for? Okay. I don't. I don't care. Clear all. Okay, what clues do we have? So we're really trying to solve this origami killer murder. Murder. Okay, the tire tracks. Analyze. Chevy Malibu. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay. This is the origami figure. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Then don't show me that. Don't show me that. Don't even bring that up as an option. What is that? I thought that was a spider or a scorpion of some sort. Hmm. Symbol of innocence. Common species. That doesn't help much. So what you're saying is you don't have many clues and you're just wasting my time. Geoanal geo analysis. No data. Okay, I see it, I see it. Thank you for holding it for me. But we gotta go through every clue if we're trying to find out who, who Just killed who. Just one origami store in town. We need to go hit that up. We gotta go hit that up. Geolocation for this orchid. Where are there orchids? That map should be lit up everywhere. The orchid is a common species. It of can course. be found at any flower shop. Yep, I figured, I figured, but I wanted to do that for the fans and everyone watching. I don't know why, dude. Okay. Okay, so let's go through the files. What files we got? We really in here working, trying to solve a, mis a murder mystery, like Scooby-Doo head ass. This man has virtual files. What if your glasses break? Are you fired? Hold on. Open them up, origami killer operating modus. Oh, I gotta go up with my controller with it. Dude, bring the files back out. I gotta unplug my controller from charging. I explain everything. Tips on how to do my job. Just explain everything you do. Here we go. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. Uh-huh. An orchid on the chest. Uh-huh. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Wow. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Uh-huh. Over 100 suspects interrogated. No luck. Not a single lead to go on. <sighs> you got your work cut out for you, Jaden. You do. Eight the victims. victims in the last three years. And they're all kids? All boys. Aged between 9 and 13. 
No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Okay. So maybe that's why, um... Ethan was freaking out when this dude, Sean... We don't even know what happened to Sean. That's the crazy part about all of this. And now we're right back here. Because Ethan, I'm going to show y'all what Ethan was doing last episode. He was like this with it. He was like this with it. <laughs> he came up on Sean backpack like this. Sean! 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 <laughs> Then y'all couldn't even see my face. I was like this with it. I was like this. Sean? Sean! Sean! <laughs> I really hope y'all can see me do that. Because if y'all couldn't see it, my sister would probably like, what are you doing in that room by yourself? <laughs> you need a new job. Go back to school. <laughs> we went through all our clues and files and we couldn't find a damn thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the same thing, this is the same thing Ethan did. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. We can make it to the... I hold need up. to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Should I have gotten the coffee? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. You can make it. Drink some water. Nothing in that cup, clearly. You're going to walk outside looking like this? Take take trip, though. You need to take that trip, though. It's a, it's a snortable. It's a snortable. OK. Make sure we get a prescription for Ethan, because Ethan don't don't know what to do when he when that happened to him. Why is she walking like she the baddest cop? Oh, I'm not gonna say what I'll do to her, but it, it's it's some it's some it's some shit she like. <laughs> Stop. So nobody in here knows what's going on in his office. There she go again, like she's trying to flaunt it. If you got it flaunted, that's what I always tell people. <laughs> If you got it flaunted, why not? There go Ethan, y'all! This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... It was earlier. I'm gonna say about 4.45, we weren't... 5.30, I think, I'm not really I didn't sure. push a button, I didn't push a button. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was a wearing blue. a coat. It was green. A green coat. And a pair of pants. Beige pants. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Um... I stayed... He, I, yeah. I did. I, yeah. I, I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I was searching. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, 
Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Okay. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. This is new girl? Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? Or is that his wife? His ex-wife? It, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Yeah, that's his ex-wife, y'all. Definitely. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Damn! Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Ooh. Ooh. That's not what I meant to say. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did you have origami in your hand, dude? So, when the origami killer finds somebody, there's what? Six days before the body is found? Is that what it is? Why does it take so long? What is he doing with them all that time? Who the hell is this? Who is this? Associated Growers? That's the name of your store? You have no customers. All your inventory is fully stocked. Oh, oh my fault. I did not see that. I'm just good evening <laughs> to you, sir. Good evening, sir. What's good with you? What what you thinking about? Store's empty. Guess it's that time of day. Well, it's a good time for a quiet little talk. Guy behind the counter? You gotta suppose that's him. Um, let's let's not waste time. Ask some questions. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Oh, wow. I have nothing more to say. Persisting did not help last time. Sympathize. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Bring up Sean. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, if you would please to move along, sir. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. What was that smart-handed remark you said? At least I'm gonna go away completely empty-handed, dude. He just lost his kid. Um, sir, sir, clean up on aisle two. <laughs> Asthma. There you go. Good evening, sir. Oh hell no! Nah. Are you looking for something in particular? Trouble just follows this detective. Got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. Okay. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Let's make the right decisions. Shit, They're letting me control. One. If I could sneak up behind him without making any noise, be as quiet as right possible. That money for me. At aisle. Maybe it's less dangerous if I sneak Get up the aisle behind him. 
Yep. What did you say? Because that other aisle had yeah, ships in it. Mine, Maybe it's less dangerous if I sneak up the aisle behind it. Right between your eyes. If you don't do what I say now, you shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now. If I could sneak up behind him without making any noise, I'm about to be as quiet as possible. Don't make me fucking kill you. I'm about to bust his skull wide do. open with this bottle of bourbon. Don't waste you, man. I ain't joking. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, run out, blow your fucking brains out. Now, turn around. He hasn't seen me yet. Still got a chance. Fuck! Uh. Drop it! What the f Now! Don't move! Hands up! What? Put I went like this with it. Shoot. Man, put your hands up. This game sucks. They wanted to be really quiet and then at the last minute go like this. Are you deaf? Of course I'm a miss. Put your hands up. I'm warning you. I'll shoot! So what are you gonna do? Someone could walk in the store any minute and sound the alarm. You haven't got a chance of getting out of this. The first guy to walk in here gets it right in the face. Fuck it, man, you're making me nervous. And when I'm nervous, there's no knowing what I'll do. You a bitch. I can already tell. I'm gonna scare the him. cops could turn up any minute. They don't give a damn about you. They'll shoot first and ask questions later. You're trying to freak me out, is that it? It's you're working. trying to scare me. It's working. I don't give a damn about the goddamn cops. If they turn up, I'll just blast everyone. No, you're not. I'm gonna keep pressing him. Look, everyone can make mistakes. What's important is to know when to stop. Me. I know what I'm doing. Of course I know what I'm doing. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Do what I say. Get the fuck out of here. I know you're nice a bitch. Try. Oh shit. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, give me the money. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, oh, three. Nah, nah, what? What? Fuck it, fuck it, I don't even care, dude. I should have done something. Maybe I could have prevented this. Then let's run it back, let's run it back, because I'm not about to sit here and be flamed for an accident. That's not how it's supposed to go down, but these controls are f***ing stupid. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Here we go. Christ, goddamn idiot, open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. No, sir. That I cannot do. I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. I I'm swear gonna to God, man, I'll blow your fucking around. brains out. Just don't turn around. There we go. Thank you. This is what I meant to do from the beginning. Didn't give me any choice. So I was on thank you, sir. You're welcome, I don't my know son. What would have happened if you had not been here? Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means. But I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Wow. That is a huge difference. That's a huge difference. And I'm going to sit here and just let it keep playing like I didn't mean to do this from the beginning. Now, mind you. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But... Maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mind you, if there was no way I could have stopped... Be. Yes, sir? I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. But I can see now that I was wrong. Wow. Wow. Reza, 
You didn't deserve to die. That's why I had to do it over. You deserve to own your big empty store all to yourself. Now, I don't know what that meant, but mind you, if there was a way that the gun would have still, like I, I couldn't have got to him and he still would have had the gun in my face, I would have had to just keep the same options. Don't 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 think that I would have just done it differently, okay? If if I didn't like what happened. But that was an accident. What kind of what kind of Okay, I'm not gonna do that no more either, because it's kinda like, okay, well you're not supposed to know and expect that also. I feel you. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? What are you thinking? Am I controlling you? A fourth character to control? Come on now. And she look good though. Hold up. What's that? Um. What are you thinking? I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Drug addict. A hot drink is what I need. A uh, cold bloody lizard. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Musty. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. Vampire. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Lazy ass. <sighs> Maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. Crackhead. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? Well, yeah, one more thought, didn't you? No? Okay. The watch or the, t or the remote? What? I don't care what time it is. Get the, get the remote. Turn some TV off. Thank you. How are you gonna get to sleep with that? Oh, I guess it does help sometimes. Okay, now now get the watch. What time is it? <laughs> Two forty-five in the morning. You look like me right now, except you're not editing, or you know, playing with yourself. Ah! Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. Don't don't look down there, y'all. Have some respect. Two forty-seven a.m. Always the same time. Don't go so far, so fast. Oh, what kind of house is this? Oh, this place lit. This gotta be some New York's, like, probably like a loft downtown in New York or something. She just walked like, mm, mm. Got a nigga fainting. <laughs> Let me chill. Let me chill, it's a video game. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I've dated I've dated somebody in the past and they and they really got mad that I would be like flirting with cartoon characters in my exposed videos. Can you believe that? She 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 literally said, "I wonder what this will make people think about me." <laughs> it's like nobody knows you. Be quiet. Focus on me. It's the problem now. I'm not bitter though, y'all. I love everybody. Uh, who's in your house? Who's in your house? Get up, somebody's in your house. I hate when movies show you first. Oh my God, this is a game though. This is a game though. I'm not walking over there without a weapon. Give me a, ooh, yes, yes. Get, oh, that's the fridge. I'm screwed. Somebody's in here with you, big sleepy head. You about to be big sleepy dead in a second. You don't need coffee. Oh, you want a hot drink though. You did say you wanted a hot drink. I'm so scared. I know y'all seen that. Stay right here. Don't go don't go too far. Throw that hot drink on whatever is back behind you. Don't don't finish that. Okay, now you can you can have it. You earned it. You sexy. Good lord. Okay, look over there. Who is there? Who's over there? Okay, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. My fault. Did he disappear? Whatever it was. Ooh, I don't like this. There's no combat in this game. It's just hold trigger and move with your left stick and hope you don't die. That's the whole premise of this game. You sending emails? What you watching on the on that computer? I can't get over how good this girl look. I'm gonna be on. Yo.
You need a weapon. You need a weapon now. This is that. This is that. This get. This is pure white people. White peopling. <laughs> you heard? Oh my gosh, dude! Lock your front door now. Don't turn the music on. Lock the front door. Oh, this is your bedroom? Oh, bathroom? I'm shook. I'm shook. Hold up. We can make her take a shower? I might be able to see it, but y'all might... Get clean. Oh, go ahead. I know it's refreshing. That's enough. Ooh. And you gonna put the same funky ass shirt back on. Did that make you a little sleepier? Hopefully. Let's not forget that there might still be somebody in my house. You know, you don't want to pee yourself when you finally show up. It's good that you... Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Who developed this? I need to see what other projects they made besides this. They're showing me every angle of this girl doing, doing everything but finding a weapon. Wash your hands. Of course you don't want to do that, though. What is that? You just... I didn't know those were pills. You just said earlier you need to stop taking these pills. And you take them. You're starting to look a little... No, you're not. You're still fine. All I needed to see was that. Well, but then I look at that and I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know about it. No, I do know about it. That's Bay. Who need it? <gasps> we know what happened. You don't need to go check the fridge first. You've seen that big shadow just rush in here. Where is he? Where is he? What is that in your house? What is that in your house? Why are you still trying to be sexy with this walk? Close the fridge and then get... Oh, you deserve this. You deserve this. Whatever is coming your way. Oh my gosh. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. Or? The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Oh my gosh. Get the fucking phone. No, get out the house. <laughs> Oh gosh, this nigga crazy. He would have heard me talking on the phone. It's better to do get out, but you should have grabbed the weapon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You have time. Oh, there's two of them. There's two. What? Where'd the other one go? Ah! Square it in the nuts. <laughs> this is why I said grab a weapon, because they, they ready. <laughs> Get off me, puppet. Oh, good move, good move, good move. They are really... <laughs> they, want, they want you bad, girl. Circle. I'm doing excellent. The Telltale is preparing me for this. 
Let's be honest. I'm a beast with this. There's three of them. Go right. Circle. X. Square. Try up. Uh, ooh, almost blew it. Come on. If I did all this for nothing, I don't mess with this game. But if I, ooh, ooh, I feel like I'm not stopping a thing. Uh huh. Smashing X. I'm smashing X fast. Up. Dude. Damn. What a waste of time, because now they won. Oh, maybe they didn't. Oh, and the nuts! Not the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. And then it's just back to Jaden. So she basically had a wet dream. Is that what it was? She had a wet dream that went wrong. This is the next morning, Wednesday. Ethan doesn't want to talk to anybody. Oh, I'm going to be playing as Jaden coming to talk to Ethan. This man slept at his kitchen table. I bet he had a dream that he helped his son with his homework. And woke up with no sun. Pick up the mail. I probably should have checked your thoughts before we did that. I'm still gonna check them. I'm worried about you. You're losing it. Oh gosh. When the oh, parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. I know you're not reading that note that happy. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? I think it means somebody's somebody came home from church and their parents... Oh my god! That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. You should have been showed them. I can't see what you're thinking when you got it close. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. Um... Origami. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. How you feeling? What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something, but I just can't remember. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. So do I. So do I. That better not be the ending, though. There's no way back for me. If I've done anything to hurt Sean, I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart. But what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? So these thoughts, they don't really mean anything. They're just all of my options, I think. Like, everything that I can feel or, like, you know. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Because he'd be, he be contradicting himself with his thoughts. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. See what I'm saying? Like, I can either make him believe he's the origami killer, or I can make him believe he not. I don't think he would write this to himself, though. That don't even make sense. Put it back. Where's Jaden at, though? Are y'all gonna be homies? Locker ticket 1803. 0604. The same locker ticket that, uh... What's his name, Rafi? I don't know. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Well, 
Let's um let's explore your house real quick. I don't think I don't think the game would have expected me to do this. I'm gonna go upstairs and check your son's room real quick. <sighs> wow. Don't cry, bro. That's not why I brought you up here. I didn't mean to guilt trip you. You know? I'm sure you could just use this. Raining very hard in wherever you live. Maybe you should get some work done while you're up here, because, you know, last thing you need is to lose your son and to lose your job. And of course you don't want to work. T take it from me. Be smarter. Be smarter. Okay, let's just head outside with it. Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars Mr. a Mars. few words. Mr. Mars. Stay here. Just stay home. Just stay home. Let's go shoot some hoops. These niggas tripping. Ugh, I hate that. Weird old reporters. What's the guest bathroom? I didn't even know you had that. Oh, perfect. I'm I'm starting to really like this game because the the options are becoming more apparent. I just don't know if what I was doing in the beginning ruined me. I feel like I gotta play this until I complete the game because I definitely forgot what Sean was wearing when what's his name uh, asked me about it. Them two detectives. When they asked Ethan them questions, I was like, Ethan, you're on your own. You are on your own, and you know it. Nice, nice. Y'all can kiss my ass. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm getting in my car and peeling off. Look at them, they have no clue. Just a bunch of nosy ass niggas for, and I would definitely would have answered questions wrong. I'm glad I didn't say nothing. I thought she was having then, another panic attack. I have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I, I can't go on. Okay, so he got anxiety. I'm not gonna lie, so do I. Maybe I, I could come back later, when there's less of a crowd. No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. The luggage lockers. I I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. <sighs> Okay, Pennywise, stop it. Stop it. Dad, where are you? Oh, it's Sean. Oh, that's Jason. Damn, the first son. Jason! Oh, wow. I can control again. Dad! 
Jason! Aw, oh, cuz. Look at all these people, though. Jason! I ain't never played no, no, no game like this, bro. Look at him, he's still being bad. Jason! Like, huh? You haven't learned yet? The Lord didn't go up there and, like, play your tape back of your death and be like, look, this is what you definitely should have done differently. Wasn't no play by play by the Lord? Okay. You better go to jail. You better go to jail doing this. Or nobody cares. Nobody thought to ask you what's what's going on. He's sitting here watching you the whole time. Your son's not here, Jason. I mean, Sean. I mean, Ethan. The luggage lockers. Made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Line 18, box number 3. The locker number. It's on the ticket. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Row 18, box number 3. Oh my gosh. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Line 18, box number 3. Okay, follow my instructions, Jason. Your control scheme about to get you knocked out. I don't see 18. Maybe it's maybe it's down here on the other side. Here we go. Bo line 18, box number three. It's right here. If it's a piece of origami. I'm a, I, I don't know what I'm going to think. I don't know what to think yet. But we do know what kind of shoes is them. Starberries? Y'all don't know nothing about no Starberries. I hope y'all don't. Open the box. What is it to think about? Oh, you don't want somebody to come see you look doing this. Oh, okay, okay, so y'all, okay. That's wild. Wow. He don't even want to go home with it. You haven't opened it yet? What are you thinking about? Oh my gosh, and then they switch characters again. Back to this man, Jaden. What's up with you, Jaden? I, I mess with Jaden. Jaden, cool. Oh, we're still, we're still, we're still eating. What you thinking about? He know he is schizo. Am I the one who who put this box in the locker? I don't remember. I don't think you do that to yourself, though. A shoebox. What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? Origami killer. I took a room in the first motel I saw. Well? The box from the locker. What am I gonna find inside? Okay. It's time. Gotta open it and find out what's inside. Who's out here? Okay, no, no, nobody, nobody here with you. Nobody know you here. It's just you and this funky ass mo uh, motel. But before we open the box, I don't need no surprises from nobody. No wire hangers! I bet you don't even know what that's from. I'm so... I feel like the oldest nigga on YouTube, but I'm not. But I accept that role. Somebody gotta be a, you know... Somebody gotta look past the nonsense, the beef, and the drama, and ask the questions. Where's the real content? That's my voice. 
in case y'all haven't noticed, that's the one I was talking about in the beginning. Ethan's been going through some very traumatic experiences. I'm sure he could use a friend. I call it the Bill Cosby. The Pill Cosby. They always making sure their character is just relieved from any uh, bowel or, or uh, bladder pressure. What reason is that for? Okay, dude. Before we open that, let's make sure. Okay, you got no snacks or beverages. I don't need any surprises, y'all. I don't know. I don't know this game. It's like the king of all. Uh, I'm not taking a seat. But what's out here? You just taking a breather? See what I'm saying? Like, why are they showing me this? Why are they letting me come out here and, and get every angle? This is gonna be the one game I watch. Like I, I beat the game, then we got to make a video where I watch all the other uh, alternate options. Are you scared? Open it. It's a piece of origami. There's numbers on them with a memory card, a cell phone, and a Glock. What are you thinking right now? No thoughts, of course. Um, don't pick up the pistol. What is this? These represent all of the murders of the kids, the young boys, 9 to 13 years old, all murdered, and then within six days, they're left with a piece of... Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? You can't be the, the origami killer, Ethan. You you realize that, right? You're about to meet a nigga. Okay. Get the memory card. Put that shit. Put that shit on my hood. G's fucking with me. G's in the Vice Lords. That's some Waka Flocka Flame. I don't know why I thought of him right now. Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. How far are you prepared to go save someone you love? Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Each origami letter is a trial. Each trial gives a letter. Each letter gives a trial. Each trial gives an address. What are you thinking right now? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. It's too much for him right now. This means that I I blew the first trial. When I was Detective Shelby, and I went in there on that hooker and I was pressing her, making her feel all types of uncomfortable, I didn't get the origami letter from her, which means that I missed one. But she could, I, I still saved her from getting her ass beat. Give me the letter, you know you had it. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. 
Oh, bitch. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Oh wow, he got the it spot rains, on. The less time the victim has to live. He has it spot on. Why do you have then it spot I on? I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? He think he's so tight. Shut moment, up. About 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Be calm. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Go for him! Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough! That nigga turned up for no reason. No neck, bitch. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? Lining up the top of your shoulders. The weather Fucking ugly ass right. haircut. Less than 72 hours. I don't need this dude with me. I think we read the question Ethan though. He said there's two people who fit the profile of the comfort zone. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. He doing I'm the most. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Some about him we don't know about. <laughs> Some about him we don't know about. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Well, you, I can see you kind of remind me of a demon a little bit. But so did this house. This house remind me of hell itself. All these crosses is still look demonic. That's how I be feeling about all these rappers nowadays. All them crosses still be acting demonic. Y'all seen Triple X new video though? That that was kind of cold. I'm not gonna lie. Don't don't understand it, but at least I know he can think. Got a brain. I feel like he be doing too much still. He be okay. I'm not even gonna go in on bro. He probably cool as hell. Maybe maybe we don't know about him. Some we don't know about Triple X. Hold up. Okay, that's the Bible. He sleep on the floor next to all of his crosses and candles. What am I doing here? What is this wall? Hold up. 
Okay, we don't care about that then. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Look at how Jesus looking to the side like that. Is that Jesus? That might be one of like his angels. I, I don't. He gonna watch. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Um, what do you do? Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Respect. You got a lot of crucifixes in here. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Respect as well. Um, do you have any alibis, or you go by another person? Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Here you go. But we know in. who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you? Blake, intervene. what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. I've got to do something. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Is it the candles? I gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. Hey, get in the mix. No. Get in you the must mix. Him. You'll bring him here. He told That's you to enough. go and find that Leave kid. Leave him park. alone. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? There's nothing I can do, y'all. Shit. Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just stand around and do nothing. So you obeyed them to make them Carter, stop. Shit. You took that boy you with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? Dude, do something. Better just stand down and leave Blake stop. to it. Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall Nathaniel. smash you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Drop the gun, now! Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Team. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I then I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. He was cooperating. He was cooperating and I fucking blew it again. <laughs> I thought he was about to really just haul off and shoot him. And if you think about it, bro, I'm gonna lose my job if I don't protect my, my damn, you know what I mean? We know, we know he's going to heaven. We know he's going to heaven at the end of the day. The show must go on. But something about that detective, I have my eye on him, bro. But I feel like, I, I still feel like I did the right thing. Honestly, that nigga was tripping. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Or was that a trial? Ah, asthma free for the moment, I'm loving it. Good old okay. hand in my pocket, just in case.
Did I have to shoot that guy? Let's be honest. I know somebody in here. All right, let's... Ah, oh, I blew that shit. I should have let him die, honestly. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Only thing, only thing I was thinking in my mind was if I let this man kill the lieutenant, he's going to have to die anyway. And he, he said something that made me think he was about to shoot, so I... I did what I had to do at the end of the day. Who needed? Who needed? I got it. Y'all gotta just stop walking up in people's houses, though. No permits, no search warrants, nothing. A letter. A letter. Mrs. Balls. Anybody home? Get to that letter. That's more important than that crying baby. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. The ba the baby's fine. The baby's fine. Where where is she at? Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Bust up in there! Bust up in there! Stop her! Stop oh, her! Shit! Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Get her! Get her! She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. Look at her grabbing onto me. She's alive. Put her in the bed now. I don't want to. I don't want to see nobody else die. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe I, I shot that nigga. You did not expect that from me, huh? No, I. I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. You're you're bleeding everywhere. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with. Yeah. I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Are you gonna check the bathroom for it? Um, no, not water. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Let's not waste time. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Oh, I need more. Still bleeding. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? It's not perfect, but it'll do. Susan! Susan, what's going on? Oh, 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 she lost it. She lost another child to the origami victim. This is the latest victim. This is the latest victim. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I mean, I took care of your stupid ass. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Go to sleep. I got it from here. He got blood all over his hands. Hold up. One second, one second, baby. One second, little baby. I got you. I got you, little baby. One second, little baby. 
Okay, now let's go check on little baby. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. I mess with Shelby. Shelby cool. Shelby cool. Shelby done saved three people's lives so far. Okay. How do you do this again? Let's be quick. Let's be quick. I know this baby stink. Can you believe that at one point in your life you was this size? Shitting on people and they had to clean it up? <laughs> there you go. Fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Oh my gosh. I love babies, y'all. I think I got baby fever right now. All I want to do is do that hey, shit. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. She wants some love, Shelby. She don't get enough from her funky ass mother who... You, we just gonna leave her then? She ain't got no pacifier in here, Shelby? Come on, dude. No toys? Nothing? There we go. There we go. I was about to walk in there with her mama and be like, yo, your baby won't stop. No. One second, little baby. Your mother is inside the room. I walked in on her crazy ass. And I know just what to do. You gonna suck on this bottle. And you gonna go right to sleep. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? You gonna suck on this bottle. And you gonna go fast asleep. Hey. Hmm? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. And you gonna sip on this bottle. And you gonna go fast asleep. Shelby, you look like a father. Is there something you wanna tell us? Why do you care about the origami killer so bad? I feel like you've experienced loss as well. Damn, she finished that whole bottle? When's the last time you ate? Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now. I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. Cause you gonna sip on this bottle. And you gonna go fast asleep. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm really controlling the, the sway of his arms. Nice and gentle. Little baby. Where you going? Thanks for Where looking you... after my baby. You're welcome. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. Take a seat next to her. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. 
I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. Shoebox. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um Oh. It's in a drawer. Oh. In the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Brush your teeth while you at it. You got plenty of toothpaste. I know you probably got a new box not even bust open yet. Where is that cell phone at? And if it looks like the cell phone we got with Ethan. Hold on, before we say, okay. Okay, let's say good let's say good night to little Emily. Emily. You take care of your mama. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good luck, Emily, for real. Hopefully you learn how to warm your bottles up tomorrow, because your mother not guaranteed. That's a key. That's a that's a clue right there, Shelby. I'm telling you. Let's get up out of here, though. Oh, this you? It does look like a. Uh... That looked like the. Uh... The NASA 350s, the NASA 350s, because it looked like a damn spaceship. Big ass car you driving. You don't need that much space. What are you slamming into in that? Other cars for sure. No damage on either. Huh? Come on, come on. I gotta start paying attention to the times. I think Ethan is on his way to that address. I don't know where my boy going. After this scene, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video for today. What are you thinking? The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? I should go talk to the garage guy over there. Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. Check all your surroundings. I'm going to talk to you in a minute, uh, sir. Now, I'm going to talk to you right now. This look weird, me looking around all in your garage. Yo, my boy. Excuse Yo. me? What's up, bro? Hey. Oh. Ha. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Oz. I'd like to get my car. I've been here hey, before. Hey, you're a pretty Don't patient remember. guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Do you remember me? Here. It's the third floor Thanks. down. The service elevator is... Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. The car's been here for two years. What does that mean? 
Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. You can't ask him anything else? That don't even make sense for you to, to not... Just ask him, do you remember me? Oh my gosh. Bro going right back to work. I respect that. Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for? Hopefully the flyest one. Please be this one. This shit cold. Okay, it's coming from the left here. There you go. Oh yeah, it's, it's for sure the flyest one though. Convertible? Drop top? No, it's some... This shit kind of crusty now that I'm looking at it fully. No, it's clean. At least you got wheels, shit. Some people stood riding on their Chevrolet legs. Let's be honest. What does that mean? Are you looking all in the car? Okay. You looking for clothes? You think you're Steve? You kind of look like Steve, let's be honest. That's the fairest thing to say, let's be honest. Uh-oh, what is that? A PSP? Oh, that's a GPS. Wrong acronym. You can't look in the back seat with it? Okay, look at that. Play with it. Your destination is four miles from here. Say less. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Let's go. Can I drive it or no? Okay, you got it then. Thank you for taking that gameplay opportunity from me. going where are we going are you telling yourself to go to these places ethan what's going on are we still big ethan we are i see the gps you've arrived have you arrived are you sleepy you have reached your destination are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son listen carefully Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only need. No turning back now. Good, it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Come on, got come, to on do it. come on, For come Sean's on. Sake, I have no choice. What is this game? You am I controlling? Oh my god. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. My eyes is like foggy a little. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this, come on. Come on, control it. 
There you go. There you go. Hi hi hydro. You got a hydro. There we go. Come on. I'm doing it. Oh shit. I'm doing it though. I'm doing it though. Oh, I gotta, I gotta be calm with it. I gotta be calm with it. Triangle. Okay. Speed limit 30. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. Go forward! Shit! 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 Come on, we got one more mile. <laughs> sir, cop, you don't understand, sir. Here we go. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Get off me. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Push the screen before you leave. Reached. Please press the screen. Destination reached. Your reward is in the glove compartment. Come on, this come on. Is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Oh, it's up! It's oh, I'm pushing down. My fault. You about to explode? Okay. Fuck! Is that down? Is it down or up? Okay, it's upside down. It's fucking with me. R2 and up and up and up. Get it! Please, no more commands! No more commands! I just did it! And try the other door. God. My gosh. My heart racing, cuz.
don't even want y'all to see who's next, or who we play as next. I don't even, I don't, I don't want, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. Cause I think at this point we have officially become immersed in every rain. I don't know if you are or if you're not. Hold on though, let me let, let me let me just talk to y'all for a second, cause I'm trying to figure out what exactly we're playing. Um, I don't believe Ethan is the origami killer. I don't think he would. I don't think he would set himself up this much just to save his own son that he killed. That doesn't even make sense. With Jaden, his his partner, something about him, something about him. I don't care that I killed that crackhead who loved the Lord. I'm sure he's up there with him right now and the Lord delivered him from his drug addiction. Cool. What I'm trying to figure out is in each of these situations, am I supposed to be getting a piece of origami so I can find out what's next, where the address is? Or is that just Ethan's thing, trying to find the other origami pieces? Cause I know Shelby got one from, from what's his name, Rez, Ryu, whatever his name is. I cannot wait till this is over so I can see what else I could have done to change the story. But that's enough talking for right now, look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What a game.